Hey everyone, this is a clip from my new special called The Pale Taurus, which is streaming exclusively on Amazon Prime. You can check it out in the link below. Hope you'll enjoy it. Please hit subscribe and like if you enjoy it, and feel free to share. Thanks. I saw Drake in concert a couple months ago. I bet you wouldn't even think I would be friends with Drake, but guess what? I'm not. <laughs> but I did see Drake in concert. I, was, I had two shows in Las Vegas in the same night, and after the second show, the promoter came up to me and he goes, hey Jim, Drake is doing a special show here in a nightclub in the casino. Would you like to go and feel uncomfortable? <laughs> and I just finished my second show, it was like 11.30, and I was like, you know what, I wanna go, I wanna go. You know, I might not be a Drake expert, but you know, I have friends that like Drake. Well, my six-year-old Patrick likes Drake. <laughs> So I want to impress Patrick. So the promoter took Ted and I and he escorted us through the casino to the nightclub where all these Drake fans were waiting to go in. They all looked at me like, oh my gosh, there's Drake's accountant. And they <laughs> brought us in the club and set us up at a table and they got us drinks and everything. And they're like, do you need anything else? And I was like, when does Drake go on? And they're like, 2.30. And I was like, cool, can I get a wake up call? <laughs> because it was probably midnight at this point. So I had to decide, do I wait two and a half hours to see one of the biggest musicians of today, who I personally knew one of his songs, <laughs> or do I go back to my room and sleep? And I just figured, God's plan, right? God's plan. <laughs> so I spent the next two and a half hours hanging around these drunk Drake fans, uh, trying to stay awake. After an hour, I realized Drake is just a combination of the words drunk and awake. Drake. <laughs> 2.30 finally came, no Drake. Two, around 2.45, I was like, did Drake pick up a shift at Tim Hortons? <laughs> Drake finally went on at 3 a.m. I don't know, maybe he slept in. 3 a.m. You know, like, if you're even out at 3 a.m., you've made a couple bad decisions. <laughs> That's when Drake starts work. <laughs> and I work at night. I like working at night. And generally, the later a job starts, the more appealing. But 3 a.m., Drake might as well be hosting the Today Show. <laughs> he could fill in for Savannah Guthrie. Drake uh, did an hour show. He performed from three to four. I learned later on he was paid $2 million for that one hour of work, so we make the same. <laughs> the show ended at four, and I started walking back to my room, 4 a.m. in Vegas, which is 7 a.m. here on the East Coast, and I live in New York, and so it's like 7 a.m. in New York and 9.13 in Newfoundland. <laughs> and, when I was walking back, I was like, you know, it's 7 a.m. and I should just call home. So I called home, my wife answered, and she was like, what are you doing awake? And I'm like, it's a long story. Is, is Patrick, our six-year-old, is he awake? And she put Patrick on the phone, and I'm like, Patrick, you're not gonna believe who I just saw in concert. I saw Drake. And Patrick said, who's Drake? <laughs> so it was worth it, it was totally worth it. Hi, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want. If you want to see more stand-up, I have more stand-up, or if you want to see an original show like Let's Get Cooking or The Mike and Pat Show, that's available on my channel. But also, just know that I'll be posting a new video every day during this pandemic or until the world ends. Please hit subscribe and turn on your alert or notification button.